Hello lovely people. I welcome you once again to Bright and Clarice channel. Thank you for clicking. Today I bring you another project update for Mr. James. This is episode 3 and let's dive into the video. If you haven't watched episode 2 or perhaps episode 1, kindly go back. Episode 1 talks about the digging of the trenches. And then episode two, we talked about casting of the foundation concrete. And here in this episode three, we're going to talk about footing block work. Okay. So if you don't know what footing block work is, just keep your fingers crossed, relax, and then let's dive into the video. So in your view is the 3D representation of the five bedroom house. Okay. This is a five bedroom house. We have one bedroom in the ground floor with the hall, kitchen, laundry room, solar room, and then kitchen. And then we have the first floor, which have four bedrooms. All right. So this is the ground floor. This is the first floor view of the five, you know, bedrooms. All right. So we need the materials. What are the materials required for the blog laying? which we call the footing block work. Okay. We've started off with the foundation, digging trenches, did a casting of the concrete. Now we're going to do what we call footing block work. So we need sand, cement. We already bought 200 bags, so we don't need that. Blocks, we need quarry dust, 1,500 pieces. There's already water, so we don't have to buy water. Wawa board, we are using the existing Wawa board. We patch it for the profiling, so we're using those ones. Nails, three inches, four inches. We just need two boxes each from each side. Concrete nail, we need two boxes. The labor for the block laying is 3,500 Ghana cities for the block laying. Okay, labor for casting the footing pillars is 1,600. And the labor for carpentry and the pillar and oversight is 2,000 Ghana cities. In total, 19,370 is the estimate for the ground floor footing block work all right so earlier when you recall in episode two we did all the foundation concrete casting so i believe you've all noted this information down so this is from the earlier video where we did the casting of the foundation concrete so right from here the next step is to lay the blocks and that we call footing blog work footings okay f double o t i n g s footings okay these footings will have to come to a certain height okay and that height need to be achieved and we can measure the height with that of the pillars you know i told you earlier on in episode one that the height of the footing uh, pillars is seven feet are you with me it's seven feet so therefore you, you can bear that in mind mm. are you with me you can bear that in mind so that we can achieve whatever measurement that we want to achieve are you with me all right so we'll dive into the video and then we will understand what the footing blog work means in doing so always ensure that your foundation is solid okay yes like in episode two we realized that there were some few issues with the foundation we had to ensure that we place the dpm and after the dpm the concrete you can look just look at the richness of this concrete okay yes waterproof cement and then anti-salt is also added are you with me all right so just ensure that everything is done in the correct way okay Wawa board, like I told you, some of them will go bad, but along the line, you don't have to buy so much because we bought 30 pieces of Wawa board for the profiling. Some were used, you know, in crossing from one trench to the other. So some might go bad, but not all of them. Are you with me? So bear that in mind. So this is what we call the footing block work. Okay, footing block work. And we've been able to do that in just three days unless Dankwa is very fast when it comes to you know laying the blocks he's very very fast so in three days we're able to lay 
1,500 blocks. And even that, there were some of the blocks that were left. You know, we, I think it was about 100 or 90 blocks that were left. So approximately 1,400 blocks were used in the foundation of this 14 block work for a five bedroom house. Okay, like I said, we have the hall, kitchen, one bedroom, visitor's toilet, laundry room, solar room, you know, and kitchen store. Are you with me? Yes. So the mason here is Alex Dankwa. You can reach him, okay, and contact him for any services that you need. Just make sure to email me and notify me. Just I'll keep an eye on him for you. Okay, in the episode one, the profiling cost at 6,825 Ghana cities. And in episode two, if you haven't watched, please watch episode two. The concrete casting cost at 37,312. This is because we bought 200 bags of cement. If we were to stick to the quantity of cement used for the casting the concrete, it would have been just be 70 bags of cement. You understand? So that's why the price shot up. Now, episode three, we are spending 19,370. Are you getting it? We bind sand, stones, blocks, the workmanship, and all of that inclusive. Okay, yeah, so uh, like I told you before, begin to buy your blocks. Don't wait till once you have permit, your land is there. Go ahead and buy some blocks, buy stones, buy sand. Two trips of stone, two trips of sand. The sand you have to buy medium. So these are the remaining blocks that were left. This is the, the compound. So Alex is trying to show the compound to Mr. James that there's still enough space for him to park his car because the house is huge. Okay, there's still enough space for him to park his car. All right, so see how high Alex has raised the footings. This is what we call footings. Okay, so footings, blog work. The footing is completed. Now we are left to cast the footing pillars. Are you with me? We are going to cast the footing pillar because the pillars, the iron rods are just bare. We need to place the board. So this is where we are going to use the wawa board. Okay, the wawa board that we purchased for just to do the profiling along the peripheral of the land. This is where we are going to be cutting the wawa board because the pillars are not that high. So automatically you end up destroying all the wood. Are you with me? Yes. So this is where we are going to cut the wawa board, use them for the footing pillars. And then once we are done with that, then we go ahead and do the bitumen painting, the waterproof you know, painting. After that, then we fill in the laterite. Are you with me? Yes. Always remember that in doing your footings, the height of the footing should be higher such that it should be higher than that of the main road. Okay, if your land is situated in the area that shows that it's in the valley and when it rains, you can see that people are, you know, having challenges. Always ensure that your footing block work is higher. Let them raise the footing work. The only, you know, disadvantage is that you will spend more in doing the filling, which is filling in the laterites. Because once they raise the footings, uh, the, the volume become more. And you have to fill in a lot of laterites. Are you with me? In your view, you can see that the pillars have been casted. Okay, the pillars have been casted. All right. So as of now, uh, we need to do the painting, waterproof painting, which we call the bitumen. Okay, the bitumen, you know, waterproof coating. It's what it's kind of a black painting. You need to paint the external and then the internal part of it okay this will prevent water from eating or molds from entering into the wall and causing harm in later time you might not experience it today but after two years three years back down the line you will start experiencing those molds and your paint peeling off you understand so you need those waterproof coating all right so eventually this is the entire building this is the corridor okay and to your right is the hall to your left is the utility room are you with me you have utility room and then a laundry room over there all right so that's what alex is showing us now 
this is the utility and laundry area okay yes this area is heading towards the guest room okay guest room is ahead of us over the right in the last end is the guest room and the bath on the extreme right hand side okay right here in your view where the camera has just shot now is a kitchen that's the kitchen and to your extreme left hand side is a kitchen porch so you can exit to the back of the building and this is the kitchen store are you with me all right so this whole area as the camera is showing now is we'll divide it into two we're going to have utility room and then laundry room are you with me right so there's enough space to go around from the wall to the building is about five feet okay on the sides and then at the back as well we have almost about five or seven feet at the back are you with me so there's enough space for him to go 360 around the building are you with me these are very very important here you can see that we've applied the bitumen it's still not take as uh, we would want it but it's it's a face by face because the blocks the, the blocks are query they soak the waterproof painting so you have to go about three or four coating before you can experience the thickness are you with me so don't give up you need to buy more gallons just go ahead and buy some more gallons uh, to prevent those coming from the future so as of now you can see the filling in the laterite has begun initially we budgeted for about four to five trips but looking at some few we realized that okay six trips will be okay um, a trip is going for 1200 this is somewhere in Tema community 25 okay so Tema community 25 there a trip of the laterite is going for 1200 it is not part of this estimate which i've showed you which is 19370 this will be in episode 4 where i will come your way with oversight concrete casting where we have to go with the ground beams the plumbing work the dpm okay the filling in of the laterite the cost of all of that will be coming in episode 4 this is episode 3 of the five bedroom house bill we are building for our subscriber mr james okay so in case you need our services please email me now i'll do the estimate for you at a cost of 50 dollars once the estimate is done you should have your drawing based on the drawing i'll prepare the estimate if you don't have a drawing please let me know i'll guide you to get your drawing okay and then once we get the estimate done we'll buy the materials i will assign a mason for you okay just let me know i i know which mason is supposed to be on this project because i don't want all the masons to be stuck on one project are you with me all right so email me and then we'll proceed from there in episode four i will come your way with all the details for the filling in of the laterite and all that is required okay if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed yet what are you waiting for email me at brightantonio at outlook.com from me to you, it's Shalom. God bless you wherever you are. Bye-bye.